Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Learn Technology in 5 Minutes by Maker Demi. This is Naveen and I am part of the instructor team at Maker Demi. In this episode, we will learn about Yocto. It is a customizable Linux based system for embedded projects. Let's say that you want to create an operating system for your IoT enabled embedded smart home device. An obvious choice for the operating system will be a Linux distribution because it is free and you can get the source code. The only problem is that the process of creating an operating system using Linux is quite complicated as there are no common tools. Thus you might end up manually tinkering away at some big Linux distribution to hack together a Frankenstein OS that meets your specific needs. But often this customization of bigger Linux distributions will result in many redundant functions that are unremovable or customizable. Also, you won't be able to get any product support as you have customized the original build. Furthermore, if you want to switch over to another Linux build or system kernel, you will have to go through the same process again. This will cost more time and money. In short, Using normal Linux for embedded devices are way too difficult and complicated. Yocto was created to solve this problem. It is also known as the Yocto project. It is a collaborative project with universal starting point for custom Linux creation. The common starting point makes it much faster, easier and cheaper for developers to ship the embedded devices to market. The Yocto project provides free templates tools, methods and working code. It even lets you choose the embedded CPU architecture. It also allows you to set the expected size of the build based on the capabilities of your system and finally build a working Linux. Then during testing and revision you can add or remove components to get exactly the feature set that is required nothing more. On top of that you can even create a set of custom application development tools for your new custom operating system. Another great feature of the Yocto project is that you don't have to redo everything from scratch when you start a new project. Basically, all your work is reusable due to the modular nature of the components. The Yocto project is very widely adopted across the industry due to its wide support for different architectures. While the Yocto project has many cool features, there are some challenges that you might encounter when developing using the Yocto project. The Yocto project has a steep learning curve and has many different ways to accomplish similar tasks. It can be difficult to choose how to proceed when varying methods exist by which to accomplish a given task. Beyond the simple tutorial stage, understanding what changes need to be made for a particular design can require a significant amount of research and investigation. The Yocto project workflow would be confusing if you are used to traditional desktop and server software development. However, when you are using the Yocto project, you must modify your configuration and rebuild to add additional packages. Also, long initial build times are unfortunately unavoidable due to the large number of packages initially built from scratch for a fully functioning Linux system. Once that initial build is completed, the Yocto project keeps the system from rebuilding packages that have already been done. Thus, subsequent builds will be much faster. If you are a serious embedded developer, learning Yocto is highly recommended. The flexible workflow, portable configurations and the high degree of configurability of the tools enable customization at every level of the build process. That is all folks, if you like this video, smash the subscribe button and ring the bell to be updated about our future video releases.